Hey everyone and welcome to the Yoakum Hall Facebook tour. My name is Matt Popwich. I am the coordinator for Yoakum Hall this upcoming year. And I'm really excited to show you guys what we have going on in Yoakum, answer any of your questions, and it's really excited to see you all in about two weeks. So we're gonna start by pointing out what do you see outside? Um, if you look right now, you see a bunch of police officers. That's because we had a bear just walking through campus wait, out here. Wait, 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 wait a second, what did you say? There was a bear on campus. It was beautiful. Um, I tried to tame it and make it the Yoakum pet bear. I was told no, I'm not allowed to do that. I think it would have been really cool. Um, but That is the excitement today is there was a bear, a black bear, small black bear. Yeah, still cool. Um, but so you see all the UAPD and FAVA police coming for that. Um, right behind them, though, you'll see the Walton College of Business. Um, so if any of you are business majors, you have a very, very short commute to uh, class every morning. Literally across the street. Literally, you can wake up three minutes before your class and roll out and go there. I don't recommend it. I'd say at least give it 10 minutes, um, but you could go with the three minute option if you wanted to. Farther down, you're gonna see the Kimpo building of, for communication. Um, you get to walk past the TV studio every day, um, see what they got going on in there. Um, on your left, you can't really see it. it's hidden behind this tree right now, but you have Bruff Dining Hall. Um, that's gonna be like your main go-to dining hall from what I think. It's really good dining hall. They have a really wide variety of options. And they're working really hard to make sure that everything is up and running safe for you next year. Um, you have Slim's Chicken right there. You have where the Wild Greens are, which is severely underrated and definitely should be recognized more. Um, what kind of food can you get there? Uh, at where the Wild Greens are, they do a bunch of mix of salads, some different bowls, some different grains, meats, uh, tofu, protein, whatever you really want. It's super good. I highly recommend it. It's my go-to spot on a random Wednesday for lunch. Um, and then we have a sushi place up there. Um, and then it's right next to the Greek theater as well. So if you're looking for a cool place to hang out, the Greek theater is two minutes away. Um, it's a really nice place to hang out on a Sunday afternoon doing homework and relaxing. And then just a little bit past that, you have the student union. Um, it's about five minutes, five minute walk from here. It's a nice way to just, you know, burn off some energy before you get that Chick-fil-A um, and have those uh, chicken nuggets. But yeah, so that's the outside of Yoakum. Oh, we're excited to take you down into Yoakum and show you everything in here. Yeah, let's look at the inside. And hey, Joseph, thanks for joining us. Glad to have you again. We have about 22 people watching, and we're curious to know where you're, uh, where you're watching from. Notice you used your key card there. Yes. So all of these doors have a key fob, which you need to get in the building. Your key fob is tr uh, identical to you. So it is connected to you and you alone. So no one else can use it. Um, it also only has access to Yoakum Hall. The main doors that are key fobbed here for y'all are this front door and the door downstairs that we'll show you when we go show you the downstairs uh, uh, amenities. Mm -hmm. So coming in here, um, you're gonna see someone. Her name is Summer Shirley. She is the coordinator of Humphreys Hall, which is our sister building right across the street. Yeah. She's gonna be joining us for this tour. So basically, if you're walking from Yoakum to go get Starbucks, you'll pass Humphreys on the way. Humphreys, right across from, from Yoakum. Yeah. Yes. So right in here is our main hall uh, office. Um, you're going to meet our wonderful hall admin, Miss Debbie. She's been here for about 27, 28 years. She is the lifeblood of Yoakum Hall. Um, when I was in my first year last year, she helped me through with everything. And she's a really friendly, wonderful face. And I'm very excited to have her back with us in the fall. Um, this is where you're going to pick up all of your packages. It's also where you're going to check out items when we open up checkouts to different students. Um, but we're going to touch on that one a little bit more. But this is the main hall office. Just come here when you have any questions. We're happy to help you out with them. And, and Lisa actually has a question for us about dimensions. So that once we get up there, we'll be sure and, and grab those. Absolutely. She wants to pre-cut some drawer liners I for it. That. Yeah. And then Andrea, our Andrea, uh, from Fayetteville, uh, Texas. Oh, welcome. Yeah. Right there across the state line. Same name. Fantastic. Okay. We're excited to have you joining us. So if you come down this way, um, you're going to see one, our first of our main hall lobbies. I also want to highlight right here, um, we have a gender neutral bathroom that uh, you can lock for your privacy. Just want to make sure that we always highlight that on our tours. So in here, um, these are our typical lounge space right now. If you notice, all of our furniture has been made to be socially distant. Our facility staff has worked really hard to kind of help make sure that everything is six feet apart, socially responsible and everything along those lines. If you walk up right here on the left side, you're gonna see your mailboxes. Um, you do share a mailbox and we are working on an exact plan to make sure that these are all sanitized on a regular basis to make sure that they stay safe for students because we do recognize that they're out to the public for everyone to see. And this space is mostly for students to hang out as well as probably your lead hogs programs yep. or events or meetings might take place in here as well. 
Right, and do you have, uh, what, what, what kind of events do you think we'll be having? A lot, of online, a lot of online stuff, I would think. We're doing our best to try and keep that in-person human element as much as possible because we recognize that as a major part of going to college is being in, uh, in places with people. But we want to make sure we're socially responsible as well. So um, we're really deep in the process to do some of stuff. We're going to do a lot of online trivia, different uh, competitions. We've talked about doing some pick up your own arts and crafts where we'll have pre-made arts and crafts packages for you to come by, pick up, hang on your wall. And our staff will come and judge them and kind of give like do you have prizes for things like that. So we're trying to find that mixed method to really get y'all involved, but make sure everyone stays safe at the same time. Very nice, and a chance to kind of showcase some skills too, as far as doing those pre those art kits. Yeah, get that floor competition going. We'll do some floor competition, see who has the most floor spirit, who has those best decorations. We'll judge them. It's gonna be awesome. Great, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, if you see here on the left, it's some examples of some mini fridges that y'all can rent if you haven't. Uh, want, decide if you want to rent them or not. They're super nice, they're super convenient. They'll all be dropped off in the hall for you already if you decide to go with that option. And you can go to movein.uart.edu and find out more about uh, renting those. Yes, sir. Uh, about how many people live here? Uh, we are about 440 right now for planning for next year. Um, so it's about the same as last year, which is really nice to see. So it's going to be a really good number, a really good sized community where you get to know a lot of different people. Very nice. <laughs> And how many floors are in Yoakum? We have 10 residential floors, um, but 11 overall. Um, as we're going down to the ground floor, you'll see right now, it is strictly um, student space, um, facilities, um, trash and laundry room in my office. And then we have 10 floors of residential uh, spaces. Thanks. So right here, um, as you get to the bottom of the floor, the first thing you're going to see is my office right here. I am in the office from about 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, Monday through Friday. Um, I always want to see students come see, come hang out, like come see me. The more I talk to the students, the more I enjoy my job. So come hang out. My door is usually going to be open. Uh, if it's closed, just give it a knock, and I'm happy to talk to you at any time you guys want. And you live here in the facility, right? I do. Um, each hall, uh, for the most part, each hall has a full-time staff member living in them, and Yoakum is this building that I live in and oversee. All right, well, what else do we have here on this particular floor? If they go down this way, you're going to see the laundry room. It's a little bit loud in here just because we have the fans and machines going, but we'll help explain. We have a ton of washers and dryers that are all free to use. Um, they're part of like your housing contract and student fees that get paid for it. Um, super convenient. On a normal year, uh, we typically have a lot of students hanging out in here. Um, obviously, with this year, that's going to be a little bit different. Um, we're still working on making sure everything stays socially distant, so stay tuned for that information as it comes out. But um, it's a really, typically it's a really nice place to study and just hang out. It's quiet. Um, it's always really cold in here, which is nice too. Um, but yeah, um, there is something cool that we get to do is the laundry app. Um, I forget the exact name of it, but it's an app. Laundry can, alert. Laundry alert, there we go. So you can either log into it on your computer or download it on your phone, and you can track how long your laundry has been in the machine. And when that machine is done, it'll give you an alert. So you don't have to set a timer and hope it goes off or you don't miss it. Um, it's going to ding for you when your laundry is done and you know when to come down and switch it. There's, and also, there's also an ice machine in here if anyone needs it. So if you're looking for ice, this is where to find it. And we have gotten that question a few times on these tours is, hey, do you have an ice machine? We do. We do. We do. And another thing about Laundry Alert that's worth pointing out is that you can check it to see if there's any um, laundry machines available. Yes. So when you want to come down, you don't have to just go visually check. And as you can notice, like right here too, we also have our hand sanitizers being put out to make sure that we're helping make it as easy as possible for people to stay safe and stay socially responsible. Awesome. So if you guys want to follow me out this way, we are going to show you the next common space that we have in the building. Joseph from, San, from Fresno, California. Glad to have you. So down here on our left, you're going to see our next common space. On the right right here is our kitchen, um, our kitchenette for Yoakum. Um, we are not at, at this moment going to be giving out any kitchen equipment because we have concerns about how well we could keep it sanitized. As the year progresses and things develop um, nationwide in regarding to COVID, we may be able to open up that option. But right now, if you plan on doing any cooking, we ask that you bring your own items just because we can't guarantee that safety and ability to sanitize it right now, our own personal items. So. We're happy to answer any questions on that one as well, if you have any questions. So bring your own cooking gear. Yeah, for now. we want. We, hopefully we're able to back up and share our supplies. 
Um, but right now, we just want to make sure that everyone is staying as safe as possible. Um, there's a random note to our left right here. Um, probably the only phone booth still on campus. Um, they were put in when there was uh, the students of Yoakum Hall were able to vote. They could either put in AC or have phone booths, and they voted for phone booths. So now we have phone booths yeah. right there. Would you guys are nice if you picked your cell phone in there, maybe be private, I guess? Yeah, I mean, okay. use it. I haven't found a way to use them yet, but I'm always open for suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So in here, you're going to come back into our common space, and you're going to find that, again, all of our furniture has been kind of set up to be socially distant. Um, we have taken out, we used to have a couple foosball tables in here, but we just can't make sure that they're staying safe and they're not six feet apart, so we are working on that one. Um, pool items at this moment are not available for rent yet, uh, but again, as things develop, we're hoping to get those back out to y'all. Um, and as we develop a sanitation plan, we're going to hope to get those back out for y'all. Pretty much a ping pong table, but if you want to bring your own supplies, if you're super competitive about ping pong or pool, um, feel free to bring your own items and um, play with these tables if you would like. So they're available for you, but we won't be necessarily giving you the equipment to use it. You just need to have exactly. your own. Exactly. So I'm sure there's going to be someone who brings their ping pong set and wants to have a super competition with their roommates or something like that. At least once a year, there's someone who loves ping pong, and I love to see it. Um, you can just hear it all day, and I support it. We support ping the ping pong competitions, so yes. Fun. They get so intense that it's awesome. Nice, nice. Okay. Does anyone have any questions about anything so far that they've seen? Or? Yeah, no, so far we've, we've answered all the questions, and we look forward to hearing more. So if you look directly ahead, um, you'll see the vending machines. Um, right now, you don't see anything really in the vending machines besides for a few assorted drinks. Um, we're working with our partners on campus and off campus to make sure that these are saying uh, sanitized and socially responsible like that. So uh, as we finalize that plan, be sure to look out for updates on that one. Um, go ahead. I noticed, the, I noticed the recycling as well over there. There is. Um, this is your main recycling point. Um, in the larger trash room, there's ability to dump things off um, as well. but. This is your main things for cans, plastic newspapers. Um, I'm going to give a big shout out to those signs. One of my RAs last year, his name was Mark Harris. He made those in the Adohi creative space on his own. So, um, those are Let's go check them out. Yeah, absolutely. And these were made, I'm sorry, where did you say? In the Adohi creative space down the hill, our new uh, residence hall. So it's all laser cut out, everything like that. Um, and he used the programming down there when he was working down there. So shout out to Mark. Yeah. Nice, nice. We always like to see students creating things like that. Absolutely. So where are we going next? We are going to go up to the ninth floor to show you all a couple of our rooms. Um, and just give an example of what you all be living in. Yeah. Now, you've been here for how many years as this, a CRE? This is my second year as a CRE here at the University of Arkansas, and my second year in Yoakum. Is there anything that stands out to you specifically about the Yoakum community? The Yoakum community is just so interesting. So we are one of the larger buildings. Oh, let me point out one thing real quick. I've, oh, down here, there is a slot. And I've heard about uh, people accidentally losing their cell phone or other things right there. So a ca word of caution about yeah. getting on here. At least once a month, we have uh, the elevator company coming out to pull things out of there. On move-in last year, we had a family lose one of their phones down there. Um, so just be careful. Don't text and get on the elevator at the same time. Um, that's how you drop it, and we lose it for a while. Very good, very good. Yeah, so I'm sorry you I cut you off. You were going to say? Yoakum's is such, such an interesting, fun community because it's that 10 stories of residents um, and just every floor is different. Each floor has their own personality, especially depending on the demographics on there. Um, the third floor is our L engineering LLC. So you see a lot of engineering students there hanging out, working on different projects, talking different things. Um, they do their own game nights with that. Um, the ninth floor, like we're on now, is typically a room of singles, so it's a little bit quieter up here. Um, the 10th floor is, a nice, is an all-female floor of doubles. There's usually really creative. They have lots of artwork going on. It's really well decorated. Um, and yeah, so it's just each floor is unique and different, and it makes the Yoakum a very unique building overall. Every floor has its own flavor. It How really interesting. Does. Yeah, so we had a couple questions come in. Uh, Natalie asked, are we allowed to hang curtains by the windows in the room? So you can't have anything hanging in the windows, unfortunately. Um, that goes to flags, different things like that. Um, it's just, it goes back to fire hazard. It's one of those things that we're really worried about. We want to make sure that we're staying in fire code, so um, unfortunately, no. And Roxy asks, how many elevators are there? And there's uh, two. There's two elevators, one on each side. We actually have a really good track record in Yoakum with elevators staying working despite being 10 floors. I said that now, and this year it's going to plague us, but 
in the past, we've had some really good, uh, I haven't had really many elevator issues. We did have the elevators go out when we had a power outage during move-in last year, but that's just a fun adventure we get to talk about now. A fun adventure. Um, Steph asked, can we please see the third floor rooms? And uh, you know, a lot of the rooms that we're gonna be looking at, in fact, the main one we're gonna be looking at is gonna be identical to what you're gonna see on the third floor here on the ninth. So all the rooms are identical. Um, every, the way you open the doors, every, the floors are all the same. So the ninth floor rooms are gonna be exactly the same as the third floor rooms. Measurements and all. Well, let's show off some ninth floor amenities. Uh, first one, we're going to go to the common space. Um, every floor has a study space. Um, we do provide the furniture in here. Um, it's all fair game. We have the whiteboard. You see a lot of students doing uh, note, taking notes in here. I know there's a chemistry test coming up when I walk in here, and there's all those different formulas on there that are way past my 10th grade chemistry knowledge. So shout out to all those chemistry people. Um, but yeah, so it's really a lot of fun. We like to do some interactive programs in here as well um, without them knowing. Last year we did a program on cultural appropriation around Halloween. And we just had uh, someone from the Multicultural Center come on and they would leave tips and notes on each of the whiteboards so people saw it as they came in. It was a program they didn't even know was happening and giving them some really crucial knowledge. Nice, nice. So we've had a couple more questions come in. Let's go ahead and just catch up with those for a second. Um, Steph asks, how do we know which bed we will have since one takes long sheets and one takes regular sheets? And I, well, when we go in the room, we'll talk about that yeah. more, but I think it's a, a bedside and window side situation. Yeah. Is that right? So it's A and B. A is the one directly as you walk into the room. Summer, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, camera. I think A is the one directly as you walk in, and that is typically the shorter one because it is right next to that door frame. Um, so B is typically the longer bed. To be honest, I don't, I've never really noticed much of a difference, um, but... Um, it's also been a couple years since I slept in one of those beds as a college student, but yeah. There are long mattresses by the window. Oh, long mattresses. Yeah, long mattresses by the window. Yeah. And um, definitely some requests to see some pipe chase rooms, which we'll look through there, for sure. Um, and then Steph asked, uh, ninth room, ninth floors are singles and third are doubles? So they're singles and doubles, but the setup is exactly the same. Um, all the rooms are equipped to be doubles for the most part, just in case there is an overflow. Um, as the year goes on, we have some flexibility with helping with furniture and making sure that the space is, but they're set up exactly the same. And Robin's asking about tension rods. Tension rods, as long as you don't um, attach anything to the walls themselves or go into the walls yeah. specifically, then you're fine. So a tension rod is perfectly fine to use. Yeah. It's also really difficult to put things into our walls. They are all cinder block walls. So if you're able to screw uh, anything into the walls, A, please don't, but B, I'm also kind of impressed. Um, <laughs> And then uh, Chesna asks, are we allowed to have doormats outside our door? Yes, you are. You're absolutely allowed to have doormats. Um, sometimes they may go missing. Um, as We don't encourage that, but it's just a reality. So, um, But I fully support it. I like seeing them. They get really creative. People like to get festive, but depending on the time of season, they switch it out. It's really nice. So I like seeing it. Um, but Seasonal doormats, yeah. like, a, like a Halloween and a Thanksgiving? Yeah. And a if you do have a doormat, though, please bring your shoes inside. Um, we can't leave the shoes outside. Um, they do have, end up stinking up the hall. Um, they are a little bit of a tripping hazard and just, you know, they can go missing. Um, so yeah, please don't leave anything in the hallways. And uh, Autumn, yes, we will look at a single pipe chase room here in a moment. Um, and Heather asked, if you have a single room, will the extra furniture be removed? It, no, it will not. Um, you're welcome to move it in any configuration that works well for you. But we need to have that furniture in there at the end of the year. And so it will remain in there. Uh, Tina asked, can you have curtains on a spring rod for the window? And I mean, spring rod, tension rod, kind of the yeah. same thing. So, sure. Yeah. yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. But... I believe so. Yeah. Um, we typically don't allow anything in between the blinds and the window. Um, so, no decorations in between there. Um, but you could always refer to the housing website and the um, residence hall handbook. It might have some more details about blinds specifically in there. When we go into the room, our, uh, go into the room in a moment, we'll take a closer look at that. But yeah, <laughs> let's continue the tour. Sweet. So Great questions. Thank you very much. So now we're going to go down to a pipe chase room. Um, while we walk there, you brought up a good point of like everything. Do you want to do the bathroom first just to knock yeah. that out? Yeah. You brought up a good point though with leaving everything in the room at the end of the year. Please do not take anything out of your room furniture wise. I know you may bring your own chair. Please leave that in there. Um, if the chair is not in there at checkout, you will be charged. Um, mm -hmm. And that furniture does get expensive because that's to meet certain fire safety codes and standards. So please, 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 please leave everything in your room makes it a lot easier for you. So in here, you're gonna see a typical bathroom. Um, you have the two bathroom stalls on the right here. And if you turn around, you'll see the shower stalls. And how many, uh, are there two stacks of bathrooms? 
bathroom. So there are four bathrooms, uh, four sets of bathrooms on each floor. Depending on the gender specificness of the floors, they are split up by bath. Um, so a female will never be living in a male bathroom hallway. So it's always going to have a short distance to your bathrooms. Okay, sounds good. And you may notice that, of course, our host is wearing a mask, and I'm wearing a mask. Masks are going to be pre very commonplace here on campus this fall. Yes. Um, we ask that so the more specific guidelines are being posted, but um, essentially in the bathrooms, you're expected to wear a mask uh, unless you are brushing your teeth or showering at that time. Um, and the bathrooms are actually going to be cleaned twice a day now. Twice a day now. Twice a day, including weekends. Yeah, including weekends to help cut down, help improve sanitation, just cut down on any germs or anything like that. Okay, great. Well, yeah, let's go look at that uh, um, chase room. Absolutely. Matt, we had another question come in Absolutely. from Steph. How many share each bathroom? So approximately, how many would you say So we have per floor divided by two, I guess? Yeah, um, it depends on whether your floor is all, all doubles or all singles, but at most it's really about 16 people sharing a bathroom. Mm -hmm. So um, it's obviously gonna be busier at certain times, like between 7.30, 8.30 in the morning. It's typically busier as people are getting ready for class. And then around, around like 9, 10 o'clock at night, um, you'll see it pick up as people are getting ready for bed and things like that. And previously, um, you know, we've had students who have helped us with these tours before, and they have recommended uh, bringing a bathroom caddy, uh, some uh, flip-flops for the bathroom, and also maybe even taking your shower or bath, uh, taking your shower in the evening rather than the morning when yeah. there's a big rush. So Yeah, the morning's always going to be busier. You don't want to be rushing around to class. Um, embrace that messy bedhead, throw on those sweatpants. You have a reason to wear sweatpants now. Um, shower's busy in the morning. You know what? Good, to throw on the deodorant, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So this is the chase room. Yeah, so this is the pipe, pipe chase room. Um, it's called that because right here, um, we have all the pipes for the building going up uh, between the floors. So you definitely do lose a little bit of space. But to help accommodate that, um, every all of your furniture in here is movable. Um, you'll see in the next rooms that the desks, the desks and closets are built into the walls. In here, you have complete flexibility with that furniture. Um, so... Desk will be able to move, your dresser will be able to move. You have two large closets behind you, uh, one for each student. Um, and then we also have in these rooms, we provide TVs for all of the students. So if you're in a pipe chase room, um, we don't, you don't have to bring a TV if you don't want one. We have them all provided for you. Okay, okay. And, and the pipe chase rooms are always, uh, have a last year's of 08, is that right? Uh, not always 08. Uh, there's the 28, there's the 0508. Oh, oh, it's fine. Yeah. We have it on the website too. Yeah. If you go to housing.uart.edu yep. and then go to Yoakum, you'll see the the uh, room number pattern for yeah. those that have this particular setup. And honestly, people end up liking the pipe trace rooms a lot because you have that flexibility with your furniture more than you do in the other ones. So okay. it's also really nice. Great. Well, yeah. Let's go take it out. Take a look at a more standard room now. <laughs> and yeah, we had that question before, and we'll get that answered. So in here, you're going to see one of our standard rooms. Um, the first thing to highlight is, like I said, this is built-in furniture. So your closets, your dressers, that's all built into the room, and you don't have any way to move those. Um, but besides that, it's the same bedding, everything like that. As you can see, uh, this is a longer bed on the window side. So and that is typically the B side in our assignments uh, information. However, I believe you're able to make that decision with your roommate when you get to the room, yeah. whether you want it to be the B side or the A yeah. side. So those are just designations, but don't necessarily mean window yeah. and door. Make sure, though, that you have a record of that window, um, because when we go through the room condition report, and when you fill out the room condition report, we're setting it up so that A is the side against the door, and B is this side. So if there was an issue with the A bed frame, and you spent the year in B, it's still tracked to you. So make sure you have official record of that when you take note of it. Mm -hmm. And Elizabeth asks, what are the measurements for the closets in the pipe chase room? And I'm not sure. I think they're online, but if they're not... We'll try to be sure and get those for you. Yeah, on our way out, make sure to grab those for you. Okay, so here we are in this room, and why don't we show some of the, the drawers right there? I think there was a request yeah. to create. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So some of these drawers come pre-lined um, from students who have put them in there already. Um, I'm not a measuring tape expert, but we're gonna make, get our best measurement as best we can. Um, mm -hmm. They're about 14 inches across. Okay. And then the length of 
21 and a half. 21 and a half. So 14 across, 21 and a half. Um, and then if you go ahead and give us a depth, if you don't mind, of that. Looks like maybe two, three inches at the most. Yeah, about three and a half inches deep. Three and a half inches deep. Okay. And then there's another, at least one other size. You want to do the second drawer? Yeah. These ones are much deeper. Um, they are about eight inches deep, just a little bit under eight inches deep. Um, they are 31 and a half across. Okay. Look at you doing that all by yourself. You don't even need a help a helper there. My dad would be proud of me. Um, and then 21 uh, deep as well, 21 length as well. 21 in that dimension as well. Okay, great, great. So we did have a few more questions, yeah. and we'll ask into those. Um, so we can bring a spring rod curtain for the closet. Absolutely. Yes. So you would put it up right in here. I highly recommend it. It is nice to have that privacy, uh, privacy give in your room a little bit of color as well. Um, so if you'd like that width, that would be about 40. Uh, what are you doing card with? Uh, 48, 48 across. About 48 across, yeah. okay. Um, uh, uh, just to ask, can we put full length mirrors on the wall directly outside our door? Outside your door, no, unfortunately we cannot. Um, just because that has some, that's a really big risk to fall and break glass. Um, I guess y'all keep those things inside your door. Uh, Natty would like to know how long is the closet for us? Absolutely. And you may, if you need help with that, I think we agree. That one I might need help with. Um, Scott, could you? I, I can do it. Uh, it is 25 and a half. Yep. Okay, so we're actually looking for the height as well. Like if they were to hang it, how much height do they have? I think that was, yeah, long, I guess. That one I might need help with for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Tall people problems. So. About 89 and a half. 89 and a half is the full height there. I would say if you want your curtain to touch the floor, maybe add a couple extra inches yeah. to that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Maybe 90, 91, something yeah. like that. Okay. Um, uh, Lisa asked, how big, is, how big is the bump out in the closet? Uh, the top shelf right here? Yes. Mm -hmm. cool. 19 inches. 19 inches. And then Katie asked, what height would the bed need to be raised to be level with the window seal? So I guess we'll just get the height of the window seal. Um, yeah. Thirty-seven inches. Thirty-seven inches, and the bed lofts at three-inch intervals, mm -hmm. so you could come pretty close to yeah. it right there. At the top, at the top level, you should be able to get all the way up to the top of the mm -hmm. uh, window frame. Okay, and. Elizabeth asked, do pipe chase rooms have a mirror anywhere? And I'll tell you what, we'll, we can dip back in there for those. We got two questions now, I think, about pipe chase. Um, any other questions while we're in this standard room? Did you all want to see the desk drawers or anything like that, get the measurements of those? Yeah, I think let's go ahead and do that too. As well. Twelve inches across. 19 and a half long and two and a half deep. Two and a half deep. And then it's gonna be the same dimensions except for this one is four and a half deep now. Four and a half deep. So slightly deeper on that second set. Okay, well let's head into um, the chase room and go ahead and get those those measurements. And just ask, do the beds lift to put a rug underneath? And yeah, I mean, they, they lift up pretty high, so you could put a rug underneath if you wished. Uh, desks will fit underneath. So there are no uh, built-in mirrors in these pipe chase rooms, um, but you could absolutely bring one in and hang it if you wanted to. We recommend command strips as the go-to um, for things like that. Uh, okay, Let's, so, so we did answer about the beds lifting to put a rug underneath. You can do that for sure. Um, <laughs> Katie asks, are there any other outlets by the bed other than two above the desk area? Um, I'm not sure of the entire number. There should be number. some on the walls. Uh, yeah. yeah. Could someone count maybe yeah. the number if you see them? Okay. In the pipe chase rooms, you have one right next to your bed, um, right here. Okay. Um, so. 
outlets, I will say, has never been an issue I've heard about in our Yoakum Hall. We do have more outlets than you would expect for the size of the room. In fact, I know one hall has about 10, yeah. you know, in the room. So we understand that there's a lot of power needs among our oh, students. Yeah. Um, uh, Diane, can you measure the dresser drawers and shelves in the pipe chase room? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'll start with the dresser one before the closet. About 21 inches long. Twenty-six and a half wide, five and a half deep. Five and a half deep. Okay. Yeah. Right. And then is the other one the same size down there? Yeah, they're all okay. the same. All three are the same. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll get the closet measurements for you. Yeah. Our pleasure, Katie. No problem at all. The top shelf is the easiest. Um, that top shelf is sixteen butts out sixteen inches. Um, and then overall, the closet is. 23 inches deep overall the closet. 23 inches, 23 inches deep in the closet. From top to bottom, the closet is about 66 to the very top. Okay, great, great. And then width. I'm making a toy drawer. <laughs> It's going to be about 35, 37 inches wide. 35, 37 inches yeah, right wide. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's hang out for a second and see if there's any more questions about uh, either the pipe chase room or the standard rooms, because we're here to get measurements for you if you need them. I have one recommendation for uh, when you're moving in. Uh, Summer and I both saw this last year. Uh, don't put a fake brick on the wall. Um, that material, those fake wallpapers are really damaging to the paint. Um, we had one put up this year um, that took down all the paint. That unfortunately is a costly repair. So uh, I totally get one, put wallpaper up, add some color to your room. Um, we just ask that you don't do those adhesive ones because they are really damaging on the paint. And when you say damages, we're talking hundreds probably, right? This one hit thousands. Thousands of dollars. Yeah, we don't want that for you. Yeah, no, the entire room had to be repainted. Um, material had to be scraped. It was expensive. So I'd like to avoid that for y'all. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, um... Without any more questions, we'll kind of, you know, we tell us. Oh yeah, let's definitely show them the view. <laughs> One of the great things about this particular hall is it has a wonderful yeah. view. Uh, so right here you can see kind of downtown Fayetteville. Then as you look out to the right, um, it's a little harder to see with our blinds down. You have a wonderful view of the valley. Um, you get to see kind of the high school. Uh, if you're a big fan of high school football, they all play down there. You get to see them on Friday nights. Um, and then on the flip side of the building, you also have a wonderful view of the valley as well. Yeah. Um, Natalie asks, how thick is the wood on the beds that go horizontal? So, how thick is the wood? There's the wood. I guess the, maybe the, the column. The column there, perhaps? Uh, the column is two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Yep. Okay. And it is a square. Yeah. A uh, rect rectangle. Huh. All squares are a rectangle. Yeah. yeah, two and a quarter, two and a quarter. Okay. Elizabeth asks, are pipe chase rooms lofted beforehand? And... You know, I think they're in varying different states, um, and uh, they can go up pretty high. Mm -hmm. yep. And I think you can loft these yourself with the rubber mallet. You could, or if you want to put in a work order ahead of time, we're going to do our best to make sure that they're all lofted before your arrival. Not everyone may be just because of the overwhelming number, but we're going to do our best to make sure. And if it's not at move-in, that work order will still get completed um, within those mm -hmm. first week or two of school. Sure, for sure. Um, we had a request to open the windows. Absolutely. Can we can we open the windows? Yeah. Actually, was the question. Yeah, you can. Um, so you can pop them all open. Um, here. Um, that brings up a big point for Yoakum and for Humphreys. Mm -hmm. Do not go out on the ledges. Um, that's not a please. That's a do not go out on the ledges. Um, we have some really bad issues. With people trying to crawl on the ledges. Um, that is something that if you are found on the ledges, you'll be removed from campus housing. Um, or you will be located to be relocated to the lowest elevation on campus. Yeah. It's just a safety issue. Um, Yoakum and Humphreys are really tall buildings, and we do not want y'all to fall off the building. Um, it'd be really scary for everyone involved. Um, so don't go out on the ledges. Don't put anything on the ledges. Um, as Matt opened the window, you might be able to see that all the windows also have screens on them. Um, or should have screens on them. So that should prevent anyone from climbing out on the ledge anyway. Stay safe. Don't yeah. go out on the ledge. Yeah.
Um, Anne is tuning in and saying, have we been in a regular room yet? We have, Anne, but if you have a question and you ask us now, we're happy to go back in that room and get a measurement for you or answer a question for you. Um, I'll also say while we're waiting for more questions, um, we also have student staff called RAs um, who live and work in the building. There should be at least one to two on every floor. Mm -hmm. um, and they're here to help you with whatever questions you have, whatever resources you need. Um, they'll also really be involved in helping you and your roommate if there's any issues or concerns. Um, so they're basically here for whatever you need for them. And they're, they're students, just yes, like just understand. like you, yeah. So they, they can definitely relate in a very unique way. Yes. Okay. Well, okay, Diane asks, um, are all of the pipe chase rooms the same, the same dimension-wise? Yeah, everything will be exactly the same dimension, dimension from pipe chase to pipe chase. Good question. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, okay, and glad to know you're good on measurements. <laughs> Let us know if you aren't, and we'll try to get them for you. But uh, thanks. So, gosh, what words would you offer to the incoming class of 2024 here at the University of Arkansas? I think this year more than ever, it is be adaptable, be flexible, and just be open to new experiences. Um, that advice stands from year to year. Um, for a lot of people, this is going to be your first time living with somebody who may not be a sibling or a family member. And it's going to be different. Um, you're going to have different schedules. You're going to have just different personality types. Um, if you are seeing that you have a roommate conflict, go talk to the RAs that Summer mentioned. Like Our RAs are an absolutely phenomenal staff. I'm super excited, especially for the Yoakum team we've put together. Um, they're there for help to help you. I'm there to help you all. But be flexible. COVID is going to make things a really big change this year than your typical freshman experience. I completely acknowledge that one. So be flexible with us as we're trying to figure things out. Um, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of different programs. Um, some of it's going to be online, some of it's kind of that mixed method I talked about earlier, but be flexible, stay positive, and let me hear your feedback. Um, I can't help you all if I don't know there's something going on, and I do my best to be in tune with the building, but if you all are seeing an issue or have an idea, come talk to me. Like, if you have an idea for a program, talk to me, talk to your RA. We all want to be really flexible. Um, it's also a great time to plug our Lead Hogs program, um, which is a group of freshmen, student, and actually upperclassmen as well, who are more involved on campus. They get to plan different events. They could be involved with some hall of decisions, things like that. Um, they also get a chance to move in early. Um, the application closes, I think, tomorrow. Um, I think it closes tomorrow. So get that application in. Uh, you get some really, really fun events. Uh, in the past, we've taken them to Locomotion, which is a golf cart, uh, not golf cart, a go-kart mini golf place. Um, we have a lot of fun things planned for them um, and everyone in Lead Hawks. But yeah, talk to us, give us that feedback. The only way we can improve is with that feedback. Um, so if you have an idea, share it out. But be flexible, be positive, and get ready for a great year. It's going to be a fun year. Yeah, over-communicate with us. We like that. Uh, we had two questions come in just in the last little bit, so we'll finish off with these cool. two questions, and then, and then we'll wave out. One was about the bathrooms, and uh, it was, is that 60 or is that 16? And 16. we were saying 16. Yeah. 16, not 60. Um, and then uh, three more questions. Yeah. Two more questions, actually. Uh, Diane asks, what are the dimensions to the space to the left of where the pipe runs? So that little hole right there. Good question. So it is, let's say, 36. 36. Wide. Um, and then it'll have the same height dimensions as the rest of the building. I think we have that on the website, yeah. so you don't necessarily need to grab, sh capture that one. Yeah. It'll be the same height dimensions, but mm -hmm. 36 wide. Okay, so 36 wide. And then what's the length from the wall? 41 and a half. 41 and a half. Okay, great. Um, and do we get a key for our room or like a key fob? You'll have a key, a specific key for your room. Um, I recommend keeping them attached with your key fob because um, typically you're going to need both at the same time. Um, if you do happen to lose them, we do have loaner keys to give out. Um, after three lockouts, though, there is a $25 charge. And if you do lose your key, there is a cost to replace it. But we want to work with you all as much as possible because we understand the mistakes happen, things happen. I've lost my own apartment keys, and, you know, it happens. So It's a human thing. It's a human thing. It's going to happen. Um, Katie asks, do we have assigned parking spots, or can we park anywhere in our resident zone? So for the more specific ones, um, I'm going to ask you, like, refer to you for parking, but you'll be able to park anywhere in that zone. Uh, unless it specifically says like reserved parking or anything like that or handicapped spot unless you have that appropriate plaque. But so if you have a resident reserved parking space within that resident reserved parking lot, you can park anywhere. Yeah. Unless it specifically says otherwise. Like in the Yoakum parking lot, you'll see in the top right hand corner, there's a spot that says 
preserved 24 seven. Um, those are for building staff like myself who are responding to calls after hours, things like that. So please don't park in that one because it's gonna slow down people being able to respond to duty calls or other building needs. But besides that, anywhere in that zone is fair game. Okay, Matt, well, we have a big year planned for everyone coming up and we're, we're excited to have you. I really can't wait to see y'all in about two weeks. It's weird to say, but two weeks, you're, you're going to be back. Yoga's going to be full and loud, and I can't wait for it. You wave us out. Have a wonderful rest of your evening, y'all. If you have anything, my email's all online, and reach out to me. I'm happy to answer any questions.